Hey guys, Justin McKay, Catfish. I'm out here today on the river and I'm getting set up to do some fishing. Now today I'm going to be doing some anchor fishing slash suspend fishing. I'm basically going to have myself anchored, but instead of casting my, my baits out, I'm going to just have them suspended directly under the kayak. And the reason for that, the area I'm fishing, there isn't a whole lot of current uh, right now. I'm actually on the Clinch River today. On the Tennessee, they are spilling at Fort Loudon Dam and Wattsmore Dam. They're running a ton of current through the Tennessee River. But up here on the Clinch, there isn't as much current. So, uh, I'm, like I said, I'm going to be anchored down, but because the current is so light here, any wind, a breeze, a boat wake, anything that goes by is just going to spin the kayak all around. So that's why I'm not going to have my lines cast out at all because it'll just be dragging them across the bottom every time the kayak spins and I'll be getting hung up. But uh, I just, like I said, I'm going to have them suspended a couple feet off the bottom right here where I'm at. And I'm anchored down along the sledge. There's an old submerged bridge here. And uh, uh, yeah, we'll just see. We'll see how it goes today. Um, I've got a few hours of daylight left here before it gets dark and see if we can make the most of it. Now today for bait, I've got some frozen skipjack and I've got one fresh bluegill left over from my last trip. So uh, I'm going to put one rod with a bluegill body chunk because that's kind of what I've had success on here recently. And then the other rods I'll have pieces of skipjack on. So I'm going to get baited up here. We'll see if we can get a hold of one today. Take that bluegill body chunk there. Get them scales off. We'll drop it down. I'm putting this on a Carolina rig, you know, most of my suspend fishing videos, you're seeing me use a knocker rig. And that is my favorite rig to use for suspend fishing when I'm drifting or when I'm trolling. But just anchored down like this, I don't really need the knocker rig. I don't need the heavier weight because the wind's not going to be a factor even though it may spin me around at times it's not going to uh, i'm not going to get that big sway in my line because it can only blow me so far before the anchor catches and brings me right back so i don't really need a heavier sinker for this application I don't really need the knocker rig for this application a carolina rig works just fine that piece down. That was a piece of skipjack body chunk. Right there, skipjack head. It's still frozen. It's going to have to thaw out for a little while. We'll just drop it down. Even though there's not as much current here on the clinch as there is on the Tennessee right now, there is still, still some flow. So uh, you can see that line back there, instead of it being straight down directly under me, it's kind of at an angle. So, probably should have put some heavier sinkers on here today. It'll be alright though. As long as it's consistent, I still won't get hung. Let's put it out there. Got our lines out. Got three lines out. I've got here, here, and the back. And of course my anchor's going off back here so I don't have a, a rod going off the back of left side of my kayak here like I would like if I was drifting or trolling just because I don't want to, that's just, you, you put a rod there, you begging to get hung in that anchor rope. Even rods out here are begging to get hung in the anchor rope, but uh, there you're almost guaranteed. So just fishing with three rods today and uh, we'll give it some time and just see how it goes. We'll put our time in out here. Can't catch them from the house, right? There's a fish in the right there now. He hooked up. Boy, he hooked up. I can't remember. I can't remember what the bait on this rod was. I've been sitting here for, gosh, almost two hours now. I can't remember. I can't remember what the bait was. I think he's no gully whopper, but he's gonna keep me from getting skunked. Oh, that's a nice flathead right there, guys. That's a nice flatty. That is a 
unexpected surprise. I think that's a skipjack body chunk that I had on this one. I think that's what it was. I had the bluegill piece on the back and the head on that rod. So I mean the body chunk on this one. Got my other line wrapped up too. Yeah, oh, oh. Not ready yet, is it? Not ready yet. Cold water flathead here. Get on up in here, then. Get on up in here. <laughs> Here come my hook, buddy. He's got my other line. I don't know which one. He's got one of them. Catch a fish, right? All right? Now let's hold him up here for a picture. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Pretty nice flathead, man. Pretty nice flathead. This other camera here. Let me get old release shot of it. Put that old sandwich baggie away. Let's let him go. Let's see if we can say goodbye. See you, buddy. There he goes. Now he's gone. <laughs> Another piece of skipjack on there, another body chunk. We'll drop it down. See if we can get us another. I don't know how much longer I'm going to get to fish. The uh, weather's starting to turn. We had some rain scheduled on the forecast for tonight. Radar's showing it a couple counties over, but I don't really know how fast it's moving. So. Wind has definitely picked up. There's a lot more chop on the waters. It's kind of started to, to pick up, but uh, I'm gonna stay out here as long as I can. See if I can get one more. I'm not gonna sit out here in a monsoon for no better than it's been today, but uh, I definitely wanna put in a little bit more time. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna get out of here and beat this weather out of here. It looks like I'm gonna be a one fish wonder today. Now, I hate posting a video like this where I only get one fish, but like I've said before, you know, this wintertime fishing, I, I'm terrible at it. I'm not a good wintertime fisherman. So there's a lot of days I come out here, and it's days like today where I maybe get one fish or I get skunked. And then, you know, of course, over the course of the winter, I'll have a few good days where I really get on them, but it's kind of sporadic. It's just not, uh, I've never really been able to figure them out in the wintertime. So I thought I'd come out here today and fish along this ledge on this old submerged bridge and just drop my baits down right there on it because they're moving so much water there on the Tennessee I thought maybe these fish will move up here in the clinch to kind of get out of that heavy current but uh, uh, if they hear they just ain't been interested in what I've been offering today but uh, you know it was nice to come out here for the time that I got and uh, always thankful for a flathead especially in the winter time so uh, I don't know I'm gonna guess I'm gonna get out of here though and beat the wetter as you can see the water's getting kind of rough here just from the the wind I'm kind of shielded from the wind where I'm at but the river bends here and I think the wind's blowing this way so I'm, I'm shielded back here but it's causing a lot of chop here as it blows upstream around the bend so uh, I'm going to get out of here while the kitten's good I will see you all again soon thanks for watching